it's summer and rain. Oh, it's you. You're back. Well, you came on a pretty great day. It's true that we're moving. Summer and I are moving to a new town. And um, Summer has been taking it not hard at all. She's psychotic. Oh, it's you, you're back. I didn't think you were gonna come back. Well, hey, how are you doing? Oh, you heard the rumors, right? Yes, it's true. Rain and I are moving, but it's okay because it's gonna be a brand new start and I'm really excited. I just can't wait to start fresh and start over and I'm not at all emotional. I'm just so ready for this next step in my life. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> and I can't, I can't wait to talk to you about it today. What do I think about moving? Well, it's a really exciting new process. You get to start all over with a whole new life, so can't be anything too wrong about that. Minus the fact that you have to literally pack up an entire house and years worth of things, and you have to be reconnected with your entire childhood, including certain scary diary posts that you really never wanted to be reminded of because your mom saves everything and you're going through everything and everyone is crying and emotional and you just don't want to think about your past self. It's a lot of fun. Okay, calm down, Summer. I know you're so overly excited about this. Okay, so what am I looking forward to most about moving? Well, I'm looking forward to the chance to see a whole new place and start a new life and explore. I mean, I'm probably gonna find brand new favorite spots to hang out at, even though I'm always gonna miss Strawberry Coffee Shop. It's on the corner down the street and um, me and Sarah and Becky went there every afternoon after class and they had the cutest coffees there with the cutest artwork and then sometimes they had free cupcake day. I'm really gonna miss that place, but it doesn't matter. I'm excited to find new places. That's the thing I'm looking forward to. What am I looking forward to the most about moving? Um, honestly, getting away from everyone I went to high school with. I mean, Joe Mossy, who was captain of the football team, now works at the deli shop down the street. And every time I go there to get a sandwich, he will not shut up about his winning goal at the last game. Oh, and the time that he got a prom king over Steve Kenny. Honestly, does it matter anymore? Does it really matter, Joe Mossy? Please, just give me my damn sandwich. I'm also so excited to have the opportunity to redo a brand new bedroom. I mean, packing up my bedroom has been a little stressful. I kind of have a lot of stuff. Rain thinks that I am a hoarder. <laughs> Please. We both know my mom is kind of a hoarder, but I'm definitely not. I just have a lot of things that are important to me that I like to hold on to. So yeah, I look forward to redoing my entire bedroom. I actually found this super cool DIY website that has been inspiring me like major inspo. I saw something online where you could take little tiny empty boxes that you use for tissues and remake them into plant holders and then use cool paints on the front. So that's kind of what I want to do. I want to have like tissue box plant holders in all my windows. Wouldn't that be so cute? Are you imagining it? What's been stressful for me during this moving situation? Honestly, I haven't felt very stressed because I am a minimalist. When you buy clothes for the sake of wearing them for what you need them for, it's kind of easy to pack up all your stuff. It took me maybe a day and a half. Do you want to know how long it took Summer? She's still packing. Well, I mean, packing is a little stressful, but I did really well this time. Only 10 boxes. 10 boxes is amazing. I've been really minimalistic lately. Like for instance, I threw out five pairs of my jeans from high school, five of them, because I realized that I never really would wear them to that farm girl themed party, my ripped jeans. Well, I always thought maybe I'd get invited to one of those, so I kept them just in case, but I did away with them. I'm so minimalistic now. I have four pairs of jeans. One thing that makes me sad about moving, well, I guess leaving all of our childhood spots. There is this one particular park down the street that Summer and I used to play in as kids. I'll never forget the one day she got pooped on by a seagull. And now Summer's developed some kind of really big phobia when it comes to seagulls, so 
Going to the beach, it's literally as if she's being attacked by pterodactyls. What am I gonna miss when I move? Well, there's lots of areas in this town that I'm gonna miss. I had a really good high school experience. I never really had that whole awkward kind of high school heartbreak type thing happen. I had really good girlfriends and we had fun together and, uh, but I mean, you know, definitely certain places that Rain and I traveled to. Well, one thing I'm not gonna miss is this one particular park where I had this experience with the seagull, but <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. It's really not a big deal. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss my tree. I can't believe I just said that out loud. Okay, yes, I do have a tree that I like to sit under, but I only do it because it's a nice place to sit and write and think. And when we move, maybe I'll find another cool spot somewhere. Not that I'm excited about that or anything, but I mean, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what's in this new town that I know nothing about. I've only seen pictures of the house online, but still, I'm sure it's amazing. Like, my mom would not pick out a place for us to move to that was not amazing. Although I am a little bit nervous that I won't be able to find a favorite coffee shop or clothing store that has any cute clothes. What if it's only Targets? What if it's only Targets and Walmarts there? What am I nervous about with moving? Well, considering I've only seen pictures of this house and the property online because my mom does everything super quickly and I'm going to a completely new place that I've never been to before, I'm leaving all of my friends, I'm gonna be in a new environment, I'm not gonna know where the nearest anything is. I'm not nervous about anything. What if there's actually no actual fashion brand stores anywhere and I have to resort to making my whole wardrobe Target or Walmart? What do I plan on doing when I move? Probably find the nearest artsy coffee shop and look for the most quiet, brooding, hipstery guy with a man bun and beard, reading a book about all natural lifestyle changes, and ask him where the coolest clubs and shops are. They're not fun to hang out with, but they know where everything is. Ooh, you asked me before, what's my first thing that I'm gonna do when I move? I'm going to find my favorite place to shop and just Go do me. I'm gonna go walking around the neighborhood just by myself. Isn't that crazy? Not even with a friend, just by myself with my headphones in, doing me, exploring, looking around, because that is so good to do. Sometimes you just gotta do you and go on an adventure. So I'm probably gonna do that, and then I'm probably gonna find the cutest coffee shop ever that's gonna become my new favorite go-to place. I'm gonna sit down in there and and I'm gonna order a latte and it's probably gonna be like cinnamon mocha flavored or something interesting that I've never tried before but because it's a whole new town and a whole new experience so it's gonna be cool and it'll be like you can only get one that tastes like that at that one particular coffee shop it's gonna be so cute and I'm gonna sit down and sip on my latte and lock eyes with the cute artsy boy in the corner and he's gonna come over and talk to me and then before I know it He's gonna be my new crush, and then within a few weeks we'll be dating, and I'll be happy and in love, and I'll probably get a job at a really cute retail store down the street. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm excited about my future. You were asking me. Rain, you'll never believe it. I found our drawings that we did down at the shore as kids. Oh, they're so cute. <sighs> Summer, oh, you've them. got to start throwing out some of those drawings. We literally can't fit any more of them in the car. <gasps> uh, uh, sorry, I found the sketch of a seagull that you did. You were a really good artist. My mom's been a little emotional. She's been finding a lot of old drawings that Rain and I did when we were kids. We used to like to draw comics. I don't see the point of holding on to old childhood drawings and comics. I mean, all it does is remind you that that's an innocent part of your life that's come and gone, and that true bliss and joy and happiness is never going to be authentic or real for you ever again because of the challenges and complexities of adulthood and getting hardened with time and experience. And that is all those drawings remind us of. So holding on to them is like holding on to that feeling every single time you look at them. My mom doesn't want to throw away anything, but I don't blame her because looking back on childhood things is so amazing. That's something that's of course a little emotional about moving, but I mean, we're obviously going to keep all of our childhood drawings. You can't throw them out. That's like losing a piece of your soul. Also, Summer's been doing a lot of more vlogging for her personal channel. And she made this goodbye video the other day. I really don't find it to be funny at all, but it's uh, it's kind of funny. Don't tell her I took her laptop again, but I just wanted to peek at it one more little time. 
So what has the moving process taught me? Well, it's taught me to be really creative and appreciate everyone in my life because I'm really gonna miss my girls, but they know they will always have my friendship and I will always have your back, Becky and Sarah, no matter what, okay? And I would say Angela, but you guys know what happened at the Winter Gala in 2008. So, not Angela. But I will always have your backs, no matter what. So I just I just wanted to do this on this video just to reach out to you guys. Um, for Becky and Sarah, I know I'm moving an hour and 15 minutes away. And I know I'm going to be in a new place. But I will always remember your friendship. Becky, I will never forget the day that I had toilet paper on my brand new Hollister flip-flops and Jimmy Kent was right behind me and you, you told me about it by whispering in my ear even though I didn't know you. It was true friendship from the start. And Sarah, I'll never forget that time that Tom Wentz broke up with you and we ate ice cream all night until the next morning and then we all got sick and had food poisoning the entire next day. But we watched Mean Girls and it made it a little bit better. I love you. That was really hard for me to write. Like, it took me like an hour to come up with the right words. And I feel really good. Like, I'm not really a poetic person, but I'm proud of myself. So moving taught me that I could really write nice, calm, caring, intellectual things for my friends. So I wouldn't have ever known that about myself if I wasn't moving. Yeah. Well, anyway, interviewer, we gotta finish packing. We're starting a whole new life. I don't know what to expect, but I'm really excited and not at all emotional. I guess I'll see you in our new hometown. Oh, 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 we're done. All right, well, uh, guess I'll see you next time since you seem to keep coming back. Mm -hmm.